Chancellor Merkel hosted the Portuguese Prime Minister Pedro Passos Coelho on Tuesday, but Portugal's economic recovery took second place. This visit was overshadowed by events in Moscow. Merkel said Vladimir Putin's signing of the treaty to make Crimea part of Russia violated international law. But she also stressed there could still be a political solution to the crisis. Regarding the events in Ukraine, we'll focus on dialogue and on talks, as well as the sanctions that have already been imposed. The tone was much harsher in London. The British government has suspended bilateral military cooperation with Russia and warned of more to come. Russia should be clear about the long-term consequences. And in the United Kingdom, we will not shy away from those consequences. Events in Crimea have rattled nerves in Eastern Europe. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden met with the Polish Prime Minister in a show of support for the NATO ally. The United States and Poland stand shoulder to shoulder in vital missions around the world. But recent events remind us that the bedrock of our alliance remains collective self-defense. President Obama has called for a G7 summit next week to discuss the Crimea crisis. The meeting will focus on what further steps may be taken against Russia.